Well, the Canadian Geographic Challenge happened over the weekend, wrapped up yesterday. He took part. As a matter of fact, he took part in a big way. He won! How cool is that? He's a William Chapman, grade 9, student, Bell High School, Ottawa. Winner, champion. How cool does that feel? Oh, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. I'm still still living that moment. Yeah. I don't really know how to feel yet, honestly. Well, when we had you booked on the, on the show, we had you down as a finalist. And yeah. then yesterday we got the news that you're the winner. Yeah, Congratulations. That's, that's what happens. You can't plan it. <laughs> you yeah. certainly can't. Okay, so let's. we're going to talk about the, the challenge uh, coming up, but your love for geography, where did this all begin? Well, geography is about the world around us. So if you're curious about the world around you, you probably want to get into geography because geography in the broadest sense of the definition is the study of the world around us. So if I was really curious as a child about what's going on outside and, you know, how the world works. And geography helps explain that a lot. So I really feel that geography would help a lot of people mm -hmm. learn about the world around them. Okay. And you can make a pretty decent career out of this as well. Yeah. yeah. So because geography is about the world, you know, there are pretty much every career is about geography, whether you work in water, you know, soils. If you work in space, you work with satellites that look down on the Earth. That's geography, that's remote sensing. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of career opportunities in geography. That's neat. And you're only in grade nine at this point. So that's, yeah. that's got to be something to be a, a winner of a gigantic event like this and be a grade nine student. Yeah, the challenge runs from grade seven to grade 10. So I could have gone next year, but you know what? Yeah. I'm happy to have won yeah. right now. So you can't go again next year? Can I you cannot, go as a but now champion? I can volunteer to help run the challenge, which <laughs> is a great thing. Okay, so it took place at the Canadian War Museum, and it took place over three days. So yes. how, first of all, how did you get into the challenge? Before that, there are a bunch of rounds of testing. So um, whoever runs it, the teachers run it in their class, and they are great for doing that. All of the teachers should run it in their class. It's a great opportunity to learn about geography. So whoever wins for the class goes on to compete for the school, and the school winner goes on to complete, uh, compete in the provincial and territorial tests. And the top 20 from Canada get invited to Ottawa for the national finals. Wow, okay. So there was 20 students that you were up they against. They are all amazing students. I can yeah. imagine. I believe we have a picture of uh, these incredible students. Okay, so then let's go back to Saturday. You're there. That's day one, correct? Yes. And how are you feeling when you're entering the, the, the world? I'm always museum? nervous. Yeah. You know, the more times you come back, the more nervous you feel, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what did the questions range in? I mean, obviously, geographically speaking, but, but what kind of questions were they throwing at you? Well, they cover every aspect of geography because they have to make sure that no one's at a disadvantage, right? So if you know more about a particular subject area, they will make sure that they'll include a fair sprinkling of every type of question that you can possibly think of so mm -hmm. that everyone has a fair chance of making the finals. There's geology, um, some astronomy, there's... Uh, stuff with soil outside and uh, mm -hmm. stuff with water, everything. Okay. Yeah. So, so Saturday happened, Sunday, now you're at the end of Sunday going into Monday. Where, where did you sit at that point? At where that? did I... Okay, so they announced the five finalists, which, by the way, are very, very wonderful people to be around. Mm -hmm. um, we're all happy to have made the top five, right? And they announced that uh, Sunday night, and then we had to wake up very early to go to the War Museum for Monday morning. Okay, so you're in there Monday as one of the top of five. Um, did you, do you study at all Sunday night? Or do you, like, well, where, where are your nerves at that point? My nerves are all over the place. <laughs> I can't really, yeah. I, I don't think studying the night before anything is a very good idea. I think everything yeah. okay. that I've done so far um, since I've been five years old has been going towards this, all the information that I've mm -hmm. gathered. You knew, what, you knew what you knew and, you, and that's about it and, and I yeah, think you, you did well. Yeah, you can't learn more. So the final moment then, it was uh, three were eliminated, it was just you and one other person? Uh, so it was sort of like a game show sort of thing where you wrote something down, you wrote your answer down on a, on a tablet in front of you and it would show uh, the answer after they had announced the real answer, sort of like on Jeopardy. Okay. And uh, you would be awarded points for that. And going into the final question, um, me and another student were tied for first place with another student close behind. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you tell us what the final question the was? The final question was a Dutch auction sort of style of question where there's a maximum of four points that you can get. 
and you start off with one hint and if you guess correctly after that hint you get four points and the second hint you guess correctly there are three points and so on so second or third hint two points hmm. fourth hint one point and if you don't guess correctly at all you get zero points but I guessed on the third hint, the answer was chili. I don't really remember what the hints are, but <laughs> all okay. I remember is the answer. And, and you got it. I got it one point behind the second place person. Wow, and yeah. how did that feel when that, you knew you were the champion? I didn't really, f I didn't know how the scores were at that point, so I was sort of, you know, I, I thought I did well, but I didn't know how, really how well that I did. Wow, congratulations. we got about a minute left here, but you're actually going to be visiting Denmark next week? I am going to be visiting Denmark next week. It was just sort of an opportunity that arose, and I was glad to take it. I believe I'm going to be meeting the Royal Danish Geographical Society, which mm -hmm. is going to be a great thing after I've won. So, As a champion. Yeah, I can be an ambassador, sort of, from the yeah. Canadian Geographical Society. So what are your hopes, then? What would you like to do? I would like to do something with languages. I started learning Dutch about five years ago in the International Languages program, which, by the way, it got me, re uh, it was very interesting. It got me interested in geography outside of Canada because mm -hmm. the world is sort of a, a larger scope than Canada, and I find it really interesting to see things outside of Canada. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. All the best moving forward. Student and Canadian Geographic Challenge winner. I have finalists written here, but we scratched that out. We put winner. Congratulations, <laughs> William Chapman, for being Thank here. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. More coming up on Daytime.